everyone, Flight Sim Maker here. Just want to give you guys an update on what I've been working on. As you see, I've got quite the collection of PCBs growing. And all this was made to help facilitate the wiring process to make it easier. So this is the breakout board. Basically it allows 14 of these MUX boards to be put together with ribbon cable. And you see all these little switches on it. Those are for the input or output of the board. So you just flip them, the switch either way. There's many ways you can wire it. You can use these two by four eight pin IDEs. You could solder it directly to the board or you can use uh, these male or female header pins. So here's the MUX board without any components on it. It has a spot for a 2 to 10k ohm resistor, so if you start getting too much noise in your signal, you add it'll add a pull-up resistor to help uh, get rid of any erroneous inputs. Here's what it looks like assembled. Just so you can swap it out. The row closest to the camera is a row of ground pins, and then the row back has all 16 inputs. You don't need to put a resistor, but you can. And to hook components up to it, as I over here, I got my dual, dual rotary encoder. Got the FMS PCB attached. And you see you only need one ground pin attached per board. Up here, I've got the, the soft key row, all the header pins. And for the 15-inch MFD that I'm making for the TBM, I've got, also got LEDs. These LEDs are very bright, and I, you can set it up for 12 volt or 5 volt. You just have to choose the right resistor. And I did much better with uh, the markings on it. So over here is my latest design that I've been working on. I've been working on the GCU-475 with uh, backlighting. So if you're using Air Manager, which doesn't use the 16 input multiplier boards, you can just use this one PCB and just hook up all the, the spots individually. They're all labeled. But if you're using SimVim, you can take advantage and use the shield here. I'll show you what that looks like in a sec. So here's the shield. You can see it's got four multiplier boards on it. Um, there are some leftover inputs, so I added a row of six more inputs. So it's down by the landing gear, so it could probably put the landing gear or any other miscellaneous switches that are floating around into this board to use up the remaining inputs. Here is what the actual board looks like. And I'll show you what they look like together. So here's the back side of the shield. I had two small errors on this. I didn't ground the two ground pins. I need to be grounded, so I just scraped off a little bit of the coating and just grounded the pin out with solder. Really easy repair. And then here's what the back side of this. It's all dirty from flux. I had same problem here where I made one mistake and that pin, the second pin, should be grounded. So I just scratched off a little bit of the coating and grounded it out and it all works great. So I can't do this one handed, but this will attach to here. And let me put that together for you. Alright, here's what it looks like all assembled together. Got your eight wire ribbon cables go into the breakout board and then you just assign the pins in the configurator uh, I found that buying the 16 wire ribbon cable in bulk by 100 feet was much cheaper and easier to find than trying to find eight wire ribbon so I just cut them in half Came apart pretty easily Now again, all this stuff can be done without all these fancy PCBs. I mean, this is just really a fancy breadboard where you can take your four signal wires coming off the Arduino, the S0, S1, S2, and S3, 
and you can attach them to rows on a breadboard and then break out from there. You don't need, you know, these fancy multiplier wires. This just this is all stuff I made for me and a few other people because I plan on making a few of these. And it just cleans it up and makes it easier to make for me. There is a significant amount of soldering to do, as you can see. So having a high quality soldering iron and a high quality quality solder and resin makes a big deal. All this is a result of the funding I've been receiving from Patreon. Those guys have really been helping me out. I'd like to thank all my supporters. Um, if you are interested in one of these, it's, I'm not a business, but I, would, I will do my best to try to get a set out to you for a very fair price. So, and Lastly, I want to leave you guys with the actual video of it in action. So you can see. A, B, C, D, 1... Two, three, four, clear, procedure, arrival, and here's what it looks like all connected.